Hey there guys, I got a new LP for you, and you guys probably already know that I was going to do this from my last video where my emulator actually screwed up, so now everything should be working, or so I'd hope. So yeah, this is Fire Emblem Gaiden, this is FE2, no it's technically not known as FE2, but yeah, it basically is FE2, so I'm just going to let the story roll. So some things to note about this game. The mechanics are pretty slow. Like FE1, the mechanics are pretty, um, you know, you've got to go through turns and it takes a while and the animations are slow, etc. But this is actually my favourite Fire Emblem. And uh, yeah, it does have its flaws, but I think it's uh, really good actually. So some of the mechanics may be outdated and such. Um, there's some stupid things like it doesn't end your turn at the. Uh, after you moved everyone, but that's just a minor inconvenience and stuff like that. But yeah, the story is still pretty basic. It's an S game, what do you expect? Most of the complaints can be summed up as it's an S game, which is why I don't mind as much uh, for some of these. So yeah, now there is an easy mode which I am going to play and <laughs> you might be asking me why I'm playing the easy mode, but the re reason is it's uh, easy isn't strictly changes any stats. What it does is make you get double XP, and this is one of the. This was the game that FE8 based itself on, which means grinding is an integral part of this. And honestly, on normal, it takes too long. Uh, so easy, you shouldn't really need to grind as much. You'll probably do a bit still, and it's easy to do, and it's fun to see the characters because this game can be broken quite easily. Uh, but, you know. So, to get to easy mode, and sometimes people will drop stuff that they wouldn't normally or something like that. I don't know. Uh, you press start and select and make sure you um, you hold down start and select and then uh, you'll get this option here. Normally you would just go into a normal game. So pick easy and it will make your life a lot easier. So this is chapter one to Sophia. And uh, here's the main character's granddad. Fucking... Look at this guy. This guy's name is Mycin, and the main character is called Alan. Right, so you actually get to wander about in towns, although there's not really much to do any time in them. So, in towns you can look at your character, you can also... Um, the graphics may be a little glitched in this game because it's a translation patch. Fight R! That is our class of our main character, but... If I want to go and see my character in more detail, I can... This is a better screen to look at characters, really. Here's a home, you can see his portrait if you go in. He can't use magic and he is a fighter that uses a sword. They never really set up traditions by this point. Right, you can also check items here and you can save. But we have no items yet so that option is basically useless and you can save your game. Alright, so we're going to go over here and talk to this dude. I'm going to put up the growths when we actually get into the fight, the next, the first fight I should say. So this is Luca, a soldier. Alright. The music isn't bad, especially when we get into a fight as well, by the way. So you ask my son, and he's like, nope. In war, women and children cry, except not. Not this time. War brings only sorrow is all we're getting. So Luca here, who's red as shit, as well as his background. Oh well. And Alm decides to go in his place. And that's good because Alm's a pretty good character in this game, but he can get screwed over in strength. Forget his growth in strength. Anyway, you talk to these other three and these guys will join you. You can actually avoid the top two here, but you want to have five characters when you go to the first fight, so yeah. A lot of the times you don't have to recruit a character, but you know. The translation patch on this is okay, but sometimes it has to um, shorten some of the things, so villager, so it misses out the E, and stuff like that. So, yeah, now we've got all these characters, let's have a look at them. Alm, Alm's pretty good. You only need one more speed than the enemy to double them, keep that in mind. Also, this is single RNG, so I can get screwed over, or I can screw the enemy over, it's all possible. Luca's kind of like, kind of like Alm, but doesn't have as much speed and stuff. 
Uh, Cliff is your weakest villager to start off with, but he is actually the best of the three villagers. Robin is a mediocre villager to start off, and he ends up really bad. He's the worst. Maybe the worst character in the game, honestly, in my opinion. Uh, Grey is the villager that starts off at level 5 and is the best at start, but he ends up being just mediocre. Above Robin, but just mediocre. So let's enter Ramwoods, and you can see the world map there, but we go straight into a fight. Right, so I want to go to config. Uh, I can turn animations off. I don't think that actually does anything, but I'll turn animations off just to uh, check if it actually does do something. Set text speed. You can also do uh, auto commands like assault and gather, though I never really do it. You can check your turns. Most turns have a, a retreat eventually. Uh, like, if you're not doing anything in the chapter, then you'll eventually retreat. Right, so which one is which? Right, Cliff is the one at the front here. So let's not put him up the front, because Cliff uh, is the weakest of all our characters right now. So Almsgrofs, they are probably pretty good. Uh, I don't actually know them. But uh, yeah, he's the main character and he's pretty good. So Alm is pretty... Okay, so... Alright, that's interesting. It doesn't show you the animation, but it fast forwards through them. It makes it a lot faster, but I'll, obviously I'm going to turn them on. Uh, I, was, I didn't even know this option existed, honestly. Alright, so we got five thieves here, and notice they use axes. Yeah, there's no there's no um, weapon triangle. Also, I'm getting a lot more XP. I'm getting like double XP, I believe. Easy mode gives you double XP, as I recall, so yeah. Okay, well that does speed things up, but I don't really want to do that, so I might just like... I don't know, use the speed up button. Unfortunately, the speed up button doesn't work as well here. It's just, the music sounds terrible. Anyway. Right, so I think Grey can do... Um, has got 9 power. These thieves have 2 defense, as I recall. Yes. So 14. So I can do 14 damage to that guy. Luca and Alm are pretty much invincible during this fight, so yeah. Let's see an actual animation play out. It's kind of a strange sort of setup here, especially the um, the bars down the bottom since they don't actually tell you numbers. But attack and defense work as you'd imagine. Uh, right, so this thief here. Right, I can't move all the way over there. So I will try and kill this guy with grey. Not grey, Robin. Alright, so Robin sucks. <laughs> right, I'll talk about Luca. Luca's good, but he doesn't have very much speed. Uh, that's his main problem, and he's basically a tank for you. He's your basic thing. Now, can I... This is grey here. Okay. Um, right, so Cliff is the best villager. He has the probably the highest growths by far from the get-go, but he'll turn out pretty good, especially if you turn him into a mage, and villagers are like a base class before the first year, like um, in FE8 they basically copied this idea, you know, training classes, same deal. So let's try and get him a kill here, yes, okay. So he can't double anyone yet, which sucks, so you're gonna have to get him so some early levels. Alright, so, um, I don't know who I should be hitting here. Probably gonna go and whack this guy here. Alright, I think they change colour slightly when they go to into attack. Or it looks like it, let me check. Uh, maybe I'm just imagining it, I don't know. Anyway, Alma is basically invincible here at the start, but he does get less XP since he is actually in a... Uh, a first tier class, I guess you could say. Alright. Guys who are injured run away. They're running to that pink spot up the top there. Yes, and the map design is pretty bad in this game, I forgot to mention. Um, so, the pink sp spot, I believe it restores like... I don't know how much health it restores, maybe it's a percentage or something, but it gives like... The terrain in this game is insane. Like, I believe that gives you like 40 avoid. Trees might give you like 20 or something, but yeah, the, don't, scra don't scratch at the fucking terrain in this game, it's insane. Alright, so 
we're gonna get Cliff to try and kill this guy here. Right, so Cliff, I talked about him, he's good. Robin is bad, his growths are terrible. Uh, there's not much you can really do about that, he, he just always turns out pretty bad for me. Power, defense, HP. That's great, Cliff, but uh, I would really appreciate it if you got one more speed so you can actually double these thieves. And then again, power of defense is, isn't bad. Alright, so I believe... Uh, hmm. Alright, I'm just thinking here... Um, okay, I'll get, I'll get Robin to attempt to kill this guy. If he misses, I'll just block him off. I mean, I'll probably have to anyway, because he's almost dead. So yeah, Robin's not that great. When you get to low HP, your character will have like a grayed out box there. Almost. Yeah, you get a lot more XP than you would normally in this. Uh, does this... That, yeah, that's the guy with like 16, isn't it? You'll probably run to the pink square anyway, so yeah. Alright. So, Robin's bad, and Grey is okay. His I don't know if his growths are that good, but they are definitely above Robin's. Everyone's growths in this game aren't very good in general, so you probably should just learn to deal with that, honestly. Alright. Now, I have a feeling this guy will just try and run away. Uh, the AI in this game isn't very smart, so... Yeah. Yeah, so it just tries to run away, and he's probably going to get smacked again by Cliff. Now, group XP, you might be noticing, this is actually pulled, and at the end of the uh, map, it, it puts them all... Um, it shares them out between the group, so you might get some more XP, and it might boost it, but they won't level up from that. It'll just be 299 XP. Alright, so after that, we get to... Uh, See our units. See, Cliff got some more XP, so it now looks like he's got 99, as well as Robert. Robert? Robin. I don't know why I thought Robert. Alright, items. I have no items. Day of rest. Rest, I believe, just uh, wastes a turn on the map, which can be detrimental eventually. Here, it doesn't really matter so much. So let's go on to our next battle. Alright, so now... By the way, easy mode doesn't affect the stats, I'm pretty sure, of... Uh, any enemies really. Right, so this is an archer. Well, Luca's not an archer, but you know, this is an archer. He's bad news, right? Okay, because archers in this game aren't like most fire emblems. They, in most fire emblems, they're just, you know, range units. They can't really counter from up close. Yeah, it's a completely different deal here, as this archer, or these archers in this game, will W, not W, will counter you up close, and they don't give a shit. They actually have 1 to 3 range normally. If you give them a bow of any type, usually a steel bow, uh, they'll actually have 1 to 5 range. Yeah, I'm not joking here, 1 to 5 range. Or, if you're a bow knight, you don't even need a steel bow or above to get 1 to 5 range. They have it natively, which is pretty insane. So, villagers, they can... Instead of like the F8 style where they promote to like, I don't know, Ross when he got to, he's a journeyman and then when he, he uh, levels up to level 10 he can, he can like promote to, I don't know, uh, pi pirate or um, fighter. I was struggling to remember the names there. Uh, this you can actually choose what you promote into more than two choices. You get uh, like cavalier, mage, archer, soldier, mercenary or whatever the equivalent equivalent of mercenary is. I forget what they call it. Isn't it Mermid or something? It's very strange. This game's strange in general, but it's good. Hope you're enjoying the music, by the way. I do. <laughs> that guy's gonna run away. And so is the archer. The archer needs to die, like, right away. Now, I can't remember when it is you can change placement of units. Oh, why'd you have to miss? Oh, I know why you missed. Look at the hit rates now. The archer's standing on a tree. Bad news for me. But yeah, the fact that can counter is pretty, pretty bad. Right, so I'm going to kill this guy with Alm and probably get a level up. 
Yeah, I think his color is like swapping or some shit. I assume it's just a glitch with the game. There's not anything I can really do about it. The game works perfectly for me otherwise, so yeah. Maybe it's just me going crazy, I don't know. Alright, um... Who is the guy that's running away? The top one? No, the middle one then. Eh. It is a little hard to move. Maybe I should get in control where I like control this as well at the same time. I don't know, maybe I should. Alright, so if Grey keeps hurting them, then they'll probably just keep running away, honestly, but I do want to give some kills to Cliff again. I don't really give a shit about Robin, because he's terrible. <laughs> Pretty much. And Grey doesn't get bad XP either. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's make sure that Cliff is kind of out of range a bit, and we will end our turn. Alright. Luke is taking it here, by the way. <laughs> Admittedly, these thieves are pretty bad. So, no weapon triangles, so lances beat axes, whatever. <laughs> lances don't actually beat axes, they just do the same damage. Also, you'll notice there's no durability or specific... Oh, that's nice. Um, you'll notice there's no like durability in this game. That's because weapons have no durability at all. You don't ever need to buy them, really. So, yeah, that's quite good, to be honest. I actually prefer that they don't have durability, so I don't have to worry about keeping all these fucking items and shit. You can only equip one item, so that's all you got. Right, I might just leave that thief to run away and then come back or some shit, I don't know. Because this archer is pissing, pissing me off. He's pissing me off. Uh, I can't reach either. Okay, well maybe I will kill this guy then. Because apparently I um, can't hit him normally. Ugh. Archers in this game are... Good. Don't underestimate them. I was gonna have to go back for this guy. Defense, that is a strange level up. Alright. Well, I was I was hoping he would get strength on his first level to just alleviate myself, but eh, no such luck. I don't know what he has, I think it's a 40% maybe. It's something like that. Alright, so... Uh, is this the an our guy that's running away? Yes. Right. So I'm gonna put Gray. He's taking a bit of damage, but he'll be okay. The archer might take a shot at him now. Probably run him out after this turn. Ah, oh, God. I didn't really want that. All right. So now we got Robin doing his jig. Once again, I hate this guy. <laughs> he doesn't start out bad at all. Uh, I mean, he's not the best unit on your team by far. I mean, that's Almond Luca right now, but he's not terrible. Skill. Yeah, his gross are not good at all. I don't want to just move that. So, I, I, I don't see myself using him eventually. I mean, you can still kind of use him, but... Yeah. So... Cliff is actually doing six damage now. I hope he gets speed this turn. This time. <sighs> okay, Cliff, you've got power and defense. That's great and all, but you've only got two speed, man. But that's okay, because eventually we're going to come across something that can boost our speed, which is very nice indeed. Alright. Uh, Let's kill this guy while we're here. Alright, I'm actually kind of dying there with the villagers. But it's okay because the AI isn't great in this game. And yes, fights can take a long time as you're seeing right now, but... Uh, I can speed them up eventually. Uh, let me show you. I can change the emulation speed, but obviously that screws up the music a lot. So I don't know if I constantly want to do that. I probably wouldn't want to do that, honestly. Alright, so I killed the archer with Luca. A pretty decent amount of XP as well. And he got speed, which is interesting. He's got speed twice. Uh, is his speed actually that good? I don't even know. Alright, so... Next we have both... Is this Cliff? Yes, this is Cliff. And Robin. Moving up. 
and Ray Gray, not Ray. <laughs> it's, I'm I'm just all over the place right now, honestly. They're gonna take a shot at this guy. They're probably just gonna all congregate there because they realise that you know, <laughs> there's already a guy taking the pink space, which is apparently amazing or something. All right, so let's see what Gray has. Probably nothing too good. No. Nope. Uh, I guess I'll move on. I mean, I really don't see myself needing to use them, but whatever. So yeah, every every chapter really has an automatic retreat, but you won't need to kill the guys that you've already killed, so it isn't actually that bad. Alright, and Criticals, there isn't a specific animation for everyone, apart from a couple characters, like Alm. Uh, we haven't seen any Criticals yet, so... Uh, We'll just leave it at that, but we might eventually. Alright, Robin. This is your chance, man. This is your your hour. <sighs> no, it's not your shit. <sighs> Why is he so terrible? I think Cliff can actually kill this guy, because he is doing like seven now, isn't he? Uh, Gray needs to get the fuck out there because he's actually uh, dying. But uh, shouldn't be too much of an issue, honestly. I believe Quiff can kill this guy if he hits. Yes, he can. More XP. <laughs> Been pretty good at feeding Quiff, honestly. Are you serious, man? He's got the same exact level up three times in a row, and. I think his power is 50, but jeez, man. Also, notice he has quite high luck in magic defense from the start. Not essential stats, though, so, you know. I won't bother moving on. Is he just healing? <sighs> right, well... The calculations in this game are kind of strange. He only has one skill. That's kind of his downfall. What's Robin got? He's got three. Let's just try and kill this guy with Luca, if we can. It's not working out then. Uh, yeah, it's still not very good hit there. Look at that hit. Eh. Right, so <laughs> it's already been like 23 minutes. So after this fight, I'm going to call that a first episode. And we're going to go a bit further into the game, hopefully. So yeah, you can see he's recovering HP and he's being an asshole about it. So what I'll do is I'll just wait till he's full HP again and then just clobber him when he gets out of here. There we go. Right, so he's going to attack Robin. Probably a good... Oh wow, he actually dodged. Probably a good idea on his part because Robin seems to just fucking miss all the time at this point. Um, I think Cliff is actually higher level than Robin now. Yeah. Alright. You can have an go then, Robin. It's probably a bad idea on my part, but whatever. If he misses, then I'll get Cliff to mop it up. Alright. Well, I'll give him a small chance, but I'm not holding my breath. Just saying. Alright, Thief Conquered. <laughs> Thief Conquered. Some English, but whatever. And here's the world map but uh, we're not going to do anything on it till next time. So I'll see you guys next time on Fire Emblem Gaiden.